Life has been busy lately. So they tried this and tried that, but irregularity kept coming back all the same. Life's been busy and it's been taking a toll on my office space. And unfortunately, when it gets like this and my space is unorganized and just an overall mess, it's difficult for me to come in here and create something or want to create something. I feel so much more creative in a clean and organized space. So we're gonna fix this today, right now. My office doubles as my closet and dressing room. And since I've added this chair in here, it's just become a place to drop all of my clothes. This is a habit that I really need to break. I'm always so grateful whenever I get to work with brands, but sometimes the amount of boxes and product can get overwhelming. I feel like I'm constantly moving stuff from one side of the room to the other and then back again whenever I'm filming something or taking photos. I need to figure out a better storage system, but that will probably have to be done another day. Oh, I went to Five Below for the first time the other day. That's where the Hunter Hunter mouse pads are from. And that place is actually awesome. We spent like probably over an hour in there just looking at everything and ended up spending a little too much money for shopping at Five Below. I think it's time to retire this mouse pad, unfortunately. It's from Artisan Labs over on Instagram, and it's my favorite one I own, but it's so stained and dirty, and I accidentally got super glue on it, and I actually went to order another one of the exact same one, but unfortunately the shop is being discontinued, so there were no more white ones but I did get a black one. I just think the white looks better in my setup. I love having a white setup, but I hate how easily things get dirty. I didn't even realize how dirty my super light had gotten. I've always cleaned my mice with just a Clorox wipe, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I scrubbed this thing. So if you have recommendations on how to clean a white super light, please let me know. The little feet of my keyboard also are looking pretty dirty. I don't even know how this would happen, but whatever it was, it came off very easily. And by the way, I have my whole setup linked down in the description if you're wondering what anything is or where it's from. Lately, I've been thinking about switching up the layout of my office and moving my desk to a different spot. My setup has pretty much been the same since I built it into this room a year ago, which if you're interested in seeing that whole process, I did make a video about it, so I'll link it below. I think I would put my desk here where the shelf is, but I'm honestly not sure if I'm ready to completely redo my setup again. Is that right? I'm living like there's no tomorrow. Because it isn't. Like I said earlier, I love working with brands and being able to show my audience products that I love, but between brand collabs, PR, or just things that I'm purchasing for myself, the boxes can pile up pretty fast and my office starts looking like an actual dump. Every now and then, some of the panels fall off of my little accent wall, but Christian comes to the rescue to glue them back on for me. 
It's actually so funny that this wall caused so much controversy back when I was building this setup. If you know, you know. But anyways, it's time to clear some of these boxes out of my closet. They take up so much space and they're just filled with old G Fuel stuff that I've been needing to get rid of for like literally a year now. This is the mouse pad in black that I was talking about earlier. What do y'all think, white or black? Maybe it's a nice contrast against all of the white stuff. I don't know. This blanket is from Target and this pillow and this cute little dumpling thing is from Five Below. And order has been restored. Thank you for watching. If you also need to clean up your space, hopefully this was some motivation for you. And if you've made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy the montage.